afternoon, everybody. Wow, what a what a way to start our, our 21st now sofa safari. Um, we've had a quite an eventful afternoon. Um, we've we've managed to now find Raven's Court. Finally, he's finally decided to show up for us. And you may have noticed just above him is a very small cub. All right, it's uh, one of our female Killy Dam uh, females cub. All right, she's also here. She's just a little bit further away. Um, all the hyenas are keeping her at bay at the moment. But what's thrown a bit of a spanner in the works is Raven's Court has bumped into these two whilst courting another female. Right, he's with another female called Cocovella, and she at the moment is in the background hiding on that termite mound. She's hiding from the hyenas. So we've got quite a quite a story unfolding here. Um, Raven's Court has just finished the remains of the kill. Uh, it looked like a, a smallish impala that, that Kelly and, uh, and the cub have had. Um, and you can hear the hyenas. <laughs> finishing it off and fighting for the scraps. So at the moment it looks like six hyenas are present. a precarious position there above above dad um, fortunately it is dad uh, so he, he's, he's not too worried about the youngster um, but obviously all these hyenas around uh, and then having this other female you know, obviously another danger uh, to the youngster because even female leopards will kill one another's cubs uh, eliminating potential competition for themselves and then competition for their own cubs further down the line. We're not actually sure if <coughs> the mother of the cub is aware that this other female is here. So it's going to be interesting to see once they bump into each other. Oh, you can see there's a piece of meat stuck in the fork of the tree there that the hyena is trying to get to. You can smell it. Remember, not good climbers. Their feet are not like the cats. Right? Their claws are not adapted for the climbing. Just in the center of the screen is Cocovella. You can just see her behind the leaves.
Strom ist. It's got a couple of licks in there. Just a lick or two, yeah. while we've got uh, five seconds of peace. Um, I'm Ryan, for the guys that know, uh, or that don't know rather, uh, I'll be youth guiding you guys this afternoon. Brandon will be on the tracker seat. Hi guys. Um, and as you guys heard, Brad is on the camera with us this afternoon. Um, I'm sure you've noticed it's a little bit chillier than usual. Okay, and we've even got the roof up. Uh, for the guys of you that know, we usually don't have the rooms, but in this cold, rainy, Weather, I'm trying to keep a little bit warm and keep the camera keep the camera dry. So we have got the roof up. Uh, but Brad will do his best, I'm sure, to avoid the poles for you. <laughs> uh, but just so you are aware of what's going on, just in relation, the rock lodge is. See the lightning conductors of Safari Lodge as well. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you can see we are between the between the two lodges. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there we go. Oh, she's just she's straight straight behind Raven's Court now. Okay, you might get her in the gap there. You might get three leopards in a shot there. It's a bit tricky still. briefly that Ravenscourt and Cucavella have, have been together. Uh, the two have been together now for just over 24 hours. Um, now one thing that we'll note with female leopards is that when they are pairing with a male they won't necessarily stick to their own territories. If she pairs with a male and he continues on his territorial marches and so on, she will go with him, even if she crosses into other females' territories. And that's what's happened here. She is even three, almost three knee houses down. <laughs> All right. Um, she's crossed at least two other females' territories to get here, now to Kelly Dam's territory. Uh, and, and that's solely in the pursuit uh, of Ravenscourt, uh, knowing that she needs to be with him in this time. All right, she 
she can't waste any time. If, if she doesn't pair with him over this period, uh, she may have to wait an extended period again before they can try. this morning and as Ryan was pointing out is that it's been a 24 hour period but it's the most incredible thing to, to, to have a, um, a blended pen mating um, especially um, we've been so fortunate to, to be able to view them in more open areas etc but the process is quite incredible it takes about up to five days of mating okay and that female will stick with that male for the f up to five days mating she obviously what well, with cats it's the female that um, generally induces the mating and um, she will uh, encourage him to mate up to um, between th <laughs> sorry I was just having a look at that I can again try um, it, it's up to uh, every say 15 20 minutes up to 50 times a day Guys, as usual, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask. Brad will try and inform us. <laughs> now, one thing we were we, we were talk, talking about earlier, more of a, a joke than reality, but what could happen is. You can see this tree, it's a, a, a youngish jackalberry, and it's not what we can see actually the, the ground, but you can see it goes down into quite a dip. When dad decides to eventually jump out of that tree, we're worried that the little one's gonna have a bit of a hard time hanging on, and that could even be the reason why these hyenas are. at the moment with all these hyenas that are around. Oh, 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 oh. But in the same breath that also means that that's um, probably the best for the cup.
question here, Ryan, uh, with regards to how many cubs could a potential female um, on average have in a lifetime and how many of those cubs could make it to, to adulthood? Um, <coughs> so it's, it's very difficult to say, um, especially with leopards, just because of, and like with most other predators, the high mortality rates. When you look at litter sizes, uh, generally with wild leopards, we're looking at between one and three, um, although four have been recorded before, uh, now on two separate occasions, uh, in the wild that is, where in captivity they, they have given birth to more. Um, but the thing with female leopards is, a female leopard may only keep a litter of cubs with her for a year and then the next litter she keeps with for a year and a half and then again changes uh, and we find that varies from female to female uh, very much dependent on the age of the female right? we, we find generally when females are still quite young uh, they they tend to push their cubs off uh, at a younger age um, the youngest age I witnessed was 11 months uh, for a young female, um, where when the females are older, they'll allow the cubs to stay with them for longer periods. Uh, we we all spoke about a female, or a female we used to know called Safari. Um, some people may know of her. She kept a young male cub with her for three years. Now, with those periods of time, it can, can vary. So, one female may have ten litters in her lifetime. cubs that are a month old and they're killed, she can have another litter. If those cubs are killed in six months, she can have another litter again. So she may have numerous litters where a female that's successful and manages to raise many litters will have fewer litters. So it's it's difficult to say and give a proper correct answer, but you can guesstimate and say that when a female leopard's about three and a half, she will start to produce. All right. Uh, remembering that uh, the gestation period is 90 days, so three months. All right. If she's successful, she has those cubs, she manages to raise them to two years of age. It'll probably be another three or four months before she can breed again. So you could say a successful female would have a litter every two and a half, three years. And then you can work it out on that. They can probably breed until they're about 15 or 16. That would probably be the last litter. So successful female between five and maybe ten litters in her lifetime. One question right um, <coughs> do you think um, Raymond's court could be hanging around to protect the cub? Um, we were discussing this a little bit earlier um, it would be interesting to see what his reaction is going to be if, if Kukuhane does approach um, purely because male leopards don't normally take a part in the rearing of their youngsters okay unlike a lion which male lions are quite attentive um, especially they've got a, a lot more paternal instinct and will generally stick around the pride and are generally quite protective over the youngsters specifically around um, other males invading into their territory with leopards especially with a opposing female leopard it would be I, uh, unfortunately, I, I wouldn't be able to answer how he would respond to a female and, uh, that is potentially going to try and kill um, a cub. Uh, unfortunately, I've never heard of a, uh, a circumstance where males um, intervened in that way. Well, this is unfolding into one of those scenarios where we can't be certain what's going to happen. It's one of those we've got to wait and see what the story tells us.
see some good interaction with the hyenas as well. All right. One being subordinate towards the other. The one at the back will be the more dominant of the two. But you can see in turn that one's more dominant than the one in front of it. There we go. I'm chasing him away now as well. when it comes to hyenas, there is a very strict hierarchy with both males and females. Obviously the females, even the lowest female in the hierarchy will outrank the highest ranked male. So, uh, all the males make way for the ladies. There's Kelly. Yes, there's Kelly there. See? So we just had a visual of the the cub's mum being chased off by two hyenas, which is not great. She hasn't gone too far. She looks like she's actually got into the drainage line. Questions. Um, how many cubs has Kelly Dam had? Alright, so uh, as far as we're aware, um, this is only her second litter that she's had. Uh, unfortunately, she, she lost the first litter, um, which is. Oh, oh hyena came. as we mentioned earlier, not uncommon, uh, all right. Um, and this is only the second litter, um, and, and she's managed to, to keep this little one going. Um, she's about 16 to 18 weeks now, um, and we, we're 85% sure, we'll say that, that it's a little girl. Um, we've just got to have one more good look, um, but we're pretty sure it's a little girl. Um, and yeah, she's doing great so far. Doing really well. What's the most amount of hyenas you've seen in a clan? And do hyenas kill leopards? Um, well, from what I've seen, um, the largest amounts of hyenas that I've seen together. Um, very interesting circumstance, having quite a large interaction with um, around... Uh, a lion that they had killed and there were 23 hyenas 23 um, 23 hyenas um, around uh, the carcass of a lion that they had uh, fortunately killed and uh, as far as them killing leopards um, yes they do um, the incredibly powerful jaws that hyenas had and they are built like tanks hyenas are incredibly powerful creatures very muscular it's very, even though a leopard is also immensely powerful, there are, uh, it's like comparing a, um, 
a sprinter to a, a, a weightlifter, if you can if you can do that comparison with um, with a leopard. Uh, if a big bite to the body from a hyena could um, ideally uh, maybe crush down on a leg or something, um, can cause a lot of damage to a leopard. But it's, uh, one on one, it would be an interesting circumstance, um, especially with a big male leopard. However, they do generally avoid hyenas. Um, it's not common to see leopards actually standing their ground against hyenas. Um, normally, especially with big female hyenas, very large female hyenas, male leopards will rather avoid uh, the, the encounter. Go up a tree or just jog away. Because again, being a solitary hunter, if you actually do have an interaction... Sorry. saying if uh, they do have an interaction and a leopard happens to to get wounded it could um, be detrimental to its hunting being a solitary hunter it's uh, quite difficult to hunt if, uh, if your leg bone's been crushed up or if you've got a big wound to the body it's uh, so generally again leopards would far rather avoid confrontation yeah i think in this area the biggest group i've seen was also competing not for a lion kill, but rather with lions for a kill, and that was 26, uh, so that was quite impressive. Um, but re remember again, throughout Africa, uh, clan sizes uh, vary, um, and again it comes down to two things, food availability and competition with other predators. Um, if you look at uh, clans within the Kruger area and so on, uh, we, we very seldom surpass maybe uh, 35 40 uh, animals not to say that it doesn't happen it, it may happen uh, but very seldom does it do that because um, not that we don't have as much game but remember our game spreads out our herds are smaller um, it's more difficult um, and then also we don't have the large prides of lions we don't have prides of 30 and 35 lions that these hyenas have to compete with and so it's easier for smaller clans uh, uh, to stay together where if you do look at Kenya and Tanzania and the Serengeti and so on then yes those clans of hyenas can get up to uh, 50 and 60 and I think these are the, the big clan in Ngorogoro craters even over 80 um, but that's because they do compete with those large prides of lions and they are hunting big groups of wildebeest uh, and so on so they can afford to have the larger groups um, so again just 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 varying from from area to area um, and then with regards to eating leopards uh, Brandon said that and I mean he even answered it in another way saying earlier that they he saw 23 hyenas feeding on a lion that they killed showing that not only will they kill leopards but they'll kill lions as well uh, they'll kill each other uh, I mean it was a bit of a gruesome sight a, a couple of weeks ago but the guys uh, were driving around heard commotion heard hyenas feeding and they went and they were feeding on another hyena um, so just shows how hy hyenas uh, won't turn their noses up uh, to anything. Um, meat is meat. It's all meat. Yep. circled right around and I haven't seen them pop out.
it's almost like the cubs watching where the dad's watching <laughs> yeah dad's little shadow It's interesting a little bit.
cats. So not too often you get to see a leopard cub sitting in a tree with dad like this. Um, as as Brandon, Brandon mentioned, dad doesn't have too much to do with the raising of the cub. And different males do react differently to their cubs. Some ignore them completely. Um, if he bumps into a female with a cubs and they have a kill he'll take it away and not share with the cub or the female where we we find ravens courts quite quite relaxed when it comes to that um, we've we've seen him sharing food with his cubs uh, greeting his cubs uh, even playing with cubs um, so he's, he's quite a nice chap when it comes comes to that um, yeah he's a, he's a nice guy saying that statistically speaking your male leopards are the number one killer of cubs but opposing males especially if they're coming into a territory and say trying to take over one of the first acts is to kill um, their predecessors cubs get rid of the babies here Hina was calling that it puts its head to the ground. Now they're quite clever. Sometimes before they call they'll dig a little hole. Well I've even seen them using objects like our vehicles and they do it so that they can amplify the sound. All right, make it louder uh, and it works. It works really well. Um, so that's why they do it. Often you can even tell if I hear hyenas running while it's calling or, or standing because of that. But also when they run, it sounds like they're gurgling while they call. We're just talking, if you guys can hear, there's some birds making... Just behind us there by that, um, by that other Scotia back there. Oh, making some noise here, it could potentially be the female leopard on her way back. Right, just a question here regarding uh, hyenas. How far would you reckon their call can carry? the human ear again terrain dependent I'd say anywhere between four and six miles um, probably to other hyenas with uh, the way they do it even further probably eight to ten miles for the rest of us that's to the human ear between four and six miles <laughs> is about six to six to nine k's kilometers um, and i'd say to other hyenas probably anywhere between 13 and, and 16 kilometers um, uh, again as i mentioned i saw a group of 26 hyenas taking on uh, a pride of lions um, it, it was amazing how when the lions uh, originally made the kill um, there were only two hyenas on the scene and they immediately started calling for the rest of the clan and within 15 minutes there were 26 hyenas um, now remember when hyenas hear that call when they hear the dinner bell uh, 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 they can get into that loping run and just go all right uh, hyena is one of the animals built for endurance right, so long distance uh, travelers um, travel massive distances if they need to also uh, when it comes to hyenas hunting because yes surprise surprise hyenas do hunt okay they do do a lot of their own hunting all right um, 
that's how they do it. It's an endurance race uh, rather than a, a stalk, uh, an overpowering kill like uh, the cats. sit for a few more minutes and just make sure nothing unfolds otherwise we'll do just do a little bit of a loop and see if we can see either of the girls uh, just so you guys know why we haven't been moving around too much and why we didn't drive into the sighting this afternoon is simply because of the youngster uh, we don't want to make too much noise or put any unnecessary pressure with the little one being in the situation so that's why we're not getting too close. We're sitting nice and tight. Oh, she's there. Must be there. I think for me the most interesting thing is going to be Dad coming out of the tree. Mm. Gently, we hope. <laughs> I know you guys can't see us at the moment, but Brandon gave that a seven, and I gave that an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Brad showing a, a good seven there as well, so a solid landing. <laughs> Cub's still in the tree? It comes in the tree. Oh, I'll give him an extra, and I'll give him eight as well for that. <laughs> I'll give him an extra point. Court has obviously come down. He hasn't moved too far away. He is still watching in this. There's Cookie Bell coming out there. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Brad's That's probably got the other female there. This is going to be interesting because she could run into the other female here. Yeah. Should we? Is that other more there? Yeah. Let's just make sure Cookie Bell doesn't come towards the little one. has come towards the male. Yeah, we've just 
just got Coco Vela here watching us from Lumpy Bun. Uh, we do, we just want to give her a chance. We're not going to move from now, uh, um, but we can see them from here as well. nothing about this other female leopard for all she knows this could be a bigger stronger female all right there she is. There she is. right Kelly damn female is now looking this way right. so we're, we're just gonna sit sit tight and see what these girls do Someone's asking about uh, where the hyenas are in all of this so the, the hyenas have moved off a little bit. Um, there are still some in the back, uh, but most of them have pushed off. I think I can still see two or three. Mm. Oh, okay. The female leopards have seen one another. aware for now the cub is still still in the tree she hasn't moved I don't think she's quite sure what's unfolding here yeah I think there's a bit of relief more than anything that there's no more hyenas underneath her huh?
Uh, he knows them. Yeah, they are. Some of them are arriving back on the scene. So that was, although nice and loud for us, that that was still a fairly young hyena. <laughs> I think uh, I, I don't think I've seen that one here actually. I think he's uh, arrived on the scene a bit late and maybe a bit frustrated that his mates hadn't called him in. that All right, guys, so just to, to give everybody a heads up, um, we would love to continue here for a little bit longer just to, to see what happens. Um, but we do, unfortunately, uh, as we had to do a couple of weeks ago, we do have to stop the clip and then restart it. So please uh, bear with us, uh, give us a couple of minutes and we will be back um, to show you what happens. Alright, 
so we're going to quickly pause but please uh, stay tuned we'll be back in a couple of minutes uh, rejoin us and we'll have a another 10 15 minutes here uh, to see if anything else unfolds all right so we'll see you shortly stay tuned we'll be right back So glad to see most of you are back. Um, not much has changed, fortunately. All right, still the two females uh, sitting watching each other. Cubs still in the tree. Um, there are a couple of hyenas again at the base trying to still get that piece of skin that's stuck in the fork of the tree. Um, but nothing further. Um, some of the, the guys a little bit further down have told us that Raven's caught has just gone a little bit off uh, and lay down uh, in a thicket there so potentially waiting uh, for Cocovella uh, to rejoin him or maybe sure, make sure none of these ladies don't get into a fight Same place. Two hyenas have just chased off one of the female leopards. It is the mother, but I'm sure now knowing that this other female is here, she won't be gone for, for too long or very far. had seen Cocovella on the opposite bank, I'm sure you would have started hearing them uh, uh, growling and starting an um, agnostic response towards the other female, obviously being in her territory and also having her cub so close.
fun sitting and watching this bumpy butt. I think Brandon's right. I don't think she saw. I don't think she saw Cucavela. She wouldn't have gone back and joined Raven's court. The problem is, I think Cucavela has seen the cup mm. big time, eh? staring at it. Yeah, she hasn't taken her eyes off her. Now, for the first time, she's looking that way, but I think she's still, every now and then, she looks to make sure that there's something coming from that side. I think she's just been. First time look at Kelly Dam. How oh, she flattened herself. Maybe realize that she's a Kelly Dam's not a small girl. Yeah. So well, that she'll be our class in a one on one.
guys might hear the barks in the background every now and then. We, we, we've heard it before. The baboons shouting. Uh, they've obviously seen the leopards as well. Not impressed, not happy. Uh, does sound like a big dog barking. Their alarm call. Sorry, I've missed a few questions here. Ra? Yeah. How far away is Killy Dam at the moment? It's about, about 80 meters, 100 meters maybe, and can't see exactly. Um, but uh, yeah, she's not too far. She's uh, still with the male. Um, what, oh, you can hear these hyenas are going crazy now. But what we'll do is, if we we don't get a better view in a little bit, we may move around and go see if we can see the two adults. And um, another viewer is asking, whose territory is this? One on the ground or the one in the tree? So <clears throat> the one in the tree, remember, is the cub, um, and that uh, the mother of the cub is the territorial female in this area. The female that Brad is on now is the female that has followed the male across numerous territories uh, as she's courting him. Um, so this is the female uh, that is out of place um, and this is the female that is showing an interest in this youngster um, which is not a good thing.
guys watch the little one coming down. The female is moving away rather than coming towards us, so that is good news. Yeah, there we go. That's fantastic news. Uh, Cocovilla's trotted off in the opposite direction. And the cub is just staying there. That's perfect. That's great news. Brilliant. That's good. Oh, bit of relief there. Um, Big sigh of yeah. relief there. Too. Uh, breathe now. <laughs> the weight of my shoulders there. That's, that's oh, heart stopping moment. And she started, looked like she started stalking forward. God. Wow. Sure. Intense. Um, cool. Just quickly, Ryan, why didn't Kelly chase uh, Coco Vela off? So, so, so we believe that Kelly didn't see her. We thought she did, but I th we, we, what we think is maybe she was laying rather watching the cubs with because there were still a lot of hyenas around. And you guys saw how well Coco Vela hid herself there. Um, because, like we say, once the hyenas chased Kelly off, she's gone and joined Raven's Court for a little bit. Um, said hello to him and now she's resting in a thicket so she has had no idea that this is all panned out and sometimes even I chat you just need a bit of luck and fortunately for the cub today it was on the cub side um, another time another situation could have ended very differently uh, yeah fortunate that, that she's moved off that's great yeah. That's good news for everybody. And I think with it getting a little bit darker, we're going to be doing the same thing. So, sure, from quite a up and down emotional roller coaster of a drive, I think from Brandon and myself and Brad and the other Lusaba guys, thanks again for joining us. Um, we hope you guys all have a warmer week than what we're expecting and going to be looking forward to. Um, but yeah, have a good week and then we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Safari. Have a lovely Wednesday, safe. Cheers, folks. Unfortunately, no sunset to pan to this afternoon. <laughs>